Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm super excited because I love sports that have some type of goal like soccer or hockey. So today I have the penalty kick. We'll steer it more towards soccer. I have the penalty kick robot. You're gonna have to see this. So stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you the link down in the description to the original video. It was basically after watching the video, they don't give you step-by-step -step building instructions, so I had to basically slow the video down and there was some of it you kind of have to eyeball, but I got it to get built, I got it to work, so let me show it to you. Okay guys, so here it is, the penalty kick robot. What I really like is this part up here. This kind of just rolls along the track. I'll show that to you in a second. You're gonna have to get it on motor control. There's the soccer goalie. You basically control it with two touch sensors that are gonna basically activate when this medium motor um, makes it go either left or right on the track. And it's just super cool to be able to, you know, for those of you that like soccer, or even hockey to you know incorporate that now into a Lego EV3 robot. So let me go ahead and get to motor control and, and show you how this guy goes back and forth. Okay, so I have this on motor control. That goes left and, makes him go left and right to try to block your shot. He's trash talking like, yeah, come on, bring this ball at me. So it's really neat. Let me just show you this medium motor attachment here. Um, this. Um, connector right down here basically locks it into place so this thing always stays on the track it actually goes underneath so for those of you that would build this um, just know that this peg or connector when it gets pushed in gets pushed in so it locks it under here so this can stay on the track because this medium motor is pretty heavy and if it doesn't lock it in then it doesn't stay on the track so it's really cool to just be able to Go back and forth with this guy. But let me go ahead and show you the program so you can see this guy actually try to stop a soccer ball. Okay, so the left here makes him go left. The right touch sensor makes him go right. So it's just easy to control him. So if the ball's coming at him, blocks it. Oh, score! Scores for Rangers! Okay, so that is just a boatload of fun. 
it might be even cool to get other robots involved in trying to hit the ball and then you got somebody controlling it with the goalie. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. So I'm going to again leave you the link to the original video so you can see how it was built. Um, the program is with it too. So just check that link out. It's really cool. So the penalty kick robot, I, I think it's a huge success. Lots of fun. I could play with this forever, but then I guess I couldn't bring you guys more videos. So enjoy this robot. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.